yesterday for a weekend here in Maine. We didn't take you with you. We didn't take you <laughs> with us, I should say, because we were trying to beat the sunset. It freaking sets at four, you guys. So early. So early. So we got in, did a quick walk around Jordan Pond, which was beautiful and we highly recommend. Got checked in and now we are up early because it's a big day. Today, you guys, we are going hiking. We're going to start at the Beehive Trail inside Acadia National Park. Then we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna bop into Bar Harbor for lunch, probably grab a quick coffee and continue hiking on the ocean path. So let's go. We are dreamers of the Beehive Trail is a very short trail. It's the most popular one here on the island, but it is difficult. It involves some scrambling, which is just hike speak for climbing up rocks, because we're just going up. I think the whole trail is like two miles or something. I've never done a ton of scrambling, but today I'm gonna try. Here we go. All right, so seriously, not even like three minutes into the hike. We got a little bit confused. There's a lot of big boulders and things you have to climb over and you don't really know where the trail is, but then we noticed the blue markers on the rocks and the trees and we're like, you should probably follow the blue marker. So if you're here, look for those on the rocks and the trees. There are several things on that sign that make me nervous. <laughs> Death, that's always a good one. Um, don't do it if you're scared of heights. I wouldn't say I'm scared of heights, but like, I don't love them. And uh, don't do it in wet conditions. It's not wet, it's really not but it did sprinkle this morning so like the ground is a little soggy the rocks are not we're just gonna you know we're gonna be smart about it and if we need to turn around we will i'm sure it'll be fine hopefully this isn't our last vlog the higher you get the more these views freaking they're beautiful i can't even get my words out <laughs> The like rocky cliffs over there and the pine trees and the ocean. Come see. If heights truly do scare you and you're not up for this like difficult hike, we are five minutes in and just when you go up the first steep part, you're greeted with this view. So you could just come up here and get up here in like literally five minutes and see this and call it a day if you want to. It's worth it, it's gorgeous. I think we've got our first hard part of the actual hike here. You kind of have to hold on to the wall, walk across this little makeshift bridge. So I'm gonna put the camera down, make my way across, and then we'll continue on. So fair warning, the sign when we started at the trailhead basically said from November to April, which it's late November right now, it can get icy here. And if it's icy, there's just some parts that you can't go on. And I see why, if these metal bars have any ice on them, be warned. If it's icy or rainy, probably not a good hike. But I don't recommend doing it with one hand either. Oh, 
part of the hike, which is incredible and challenging in a nice way. But sometimes that wind comes along and you just want to hug a rock. Are those eagles? <laughs> they are. They're bald eagles, babe. Do bald eagles have white tails? I think so. That's so cool. We see two bald eagles, it looks like, or some kind of eagle is flying almost like at our level. Whew, I see why this is so popular. It's incredible. I can't believe we've passed a single person, one human, since we started. Elevation doesn't seem like much, but it was an adventure. I loved it. Highly recommend. Good job. Bar Harbor. If you're here after October, don't expect to be entertained in town. You need to entertain yourself on a hike or something because everything is closed. That's okay. We'll just go coffee-less. We're going to go over to the pier and look at the water a bit before lunch. When the stars close bright, the summer's old. When the misty bright moonlight, So Bar Harbor is a gorgeous little town. I definitely get the appeal of it especially in the summertime. Um, but yeah, as Ashley mentioned, everything is closed. It is kind of like a ghost town. Definitely, uh, if you wanna be here when everything is open and really experience it, come here during the high season in the summer. Yeah, pretty much everything closes at the end of October. But one thing that is open right now is Side Street Cafe, and we're gonna go get some food. The hills they seem all green, but they hide all the monsters. <laughs> the later. Yum. A kid's mac and cheese. <laughs> That's huge. Wow. Honestly, I could have just gotten five dollars worth of kid's mac and cheese and called it a day. We don't have any pepper, huh? Uh, no. Yeah, hold on. Let me pull out my pocket real quick. Yeah, I was gonna do that. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Why you do that to me? I didn't do it to you. It was an accident. Make it. Absolutely <laughs> not. But you can have my napkin. Thanks. Wow. Isn't she pretty? She's beautiful. That's delicious. It's delightful. We recommend the Blueberry Pie at Side Street. We're going to finish this pie and head over back basically where we parked this morning because from that spot are several trailheads and we're going to go down the Ocean Path Trail. See y'all there. winded on this morning's hike and we did do some stairs just now and I'm like <gasps> is that mac and cheese we've just begun the ocean path trail and the plan for this afternoon to kind of round out our day here on MDI is to do the ocean path trail which is relatively easy at the end of it we'll cross across the street where you can catch part of the trailhead for Mount Gorham so then we'll go and summit Mount Gorham which again should be relatively easy and then come back down and it should spit us back out where we parked. So that's the plan. I'll say the Ocean Path Trail, you do not need to be a hiker. You do not need to be super fit. It's like a paved gravel path. 
It's not very hilly. There's no rocks or anything like that. Super easy, so relatively accessible. But if that's too much for you, you can drive straight to where we're going, which is the Thunder Hole, which is a really cool place to see. We'll show you later, but you can drive straight there. There's parking at Thunder Hole. So if all these places, you can drive directly there if walking and hiking isn't for you, but it's definitely for us. We gotta go now. <laughs> these little stairwells or trails, little bitty paths, and you can take them there every several steps, honestly. And they'll go and usually give you an excellent view of the waves crashing on the rocks, and it is beautiful. We're gonna do another one now. just off Ocean Path and it's basically this spot where over millennia the rocks have formed a cave underneath so the water comes in and it fills in the cave and then hits against the underside and it makes this deep kind of bellowing sound very thunder like you can hear it as you walk up the placard when we came in said that the best time to hear the thunder is two hours before high tide we're here one hour before high tide which is at 238 but still, you can hear it and see it, and it is so cool. Okay, quick change of plans. We're gonna use the last two hours of daylight to head over to the west side of MDI and see a place called Seal Cove. Our Airbnb host said that it's a good place to see seals and to watch the sunset because it's on the west side of things so we're gonna skip mount gorham we're gonna hightail it back up the ocean path and head over to the other side of the island to try and catch some seals and sunset We've made it to Seal Cove and we're over on the far west side of Mount Desert Island. I don't think we're gonna see any seals. Maybe that's my bad, maybe I misunderstood. <laughs> but it is a good place to watch sunset because of its western position on the island. So we're gonna do that. I think our day is catching up to both of us because on the way here we were just about to take a nap in the car. We'll see you all in the morning because tomorrow we head over to Portland. Welcome to Portland, Maine, you guys. Yeah, destination number two in our little weekend getaway. <laughs> yep, so we drove down here from Mount Desert Island mm -hmm. in Acadia National Park. This morning, it took us about a little over three hours to get here. Yeah, not too bad. So we're much, much closer to home, which should make tomorrow's drive back <laughs> easier. But today's activity is, in case you can't see it, we got some sweet rides. We got e-bikes <laughs> and we are gonna take them around. We're on our way right now to lighthouse number one of two for this afternoon. And we're just gonna cruise around. We rented our e-bikes at Gorham Bike and Ski, I mm -hmm. believe it's called. They have several locations in Maine. Easy peasy, picked them up and we were out. We did go over the bridge next to the <laughs> highway, which was a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. But after that, we get to bike on a nice green belt without any cars. So it should be a beautiful ride. We're gonna go see be. some lighthouses cause you know, when in Maine. <laughs> Welcome to Bug Light Park. We've biked all the way along the green belt from the other side of Portland over here to Bug Light Park. It is a beautiful place, like perfect for a picnic, and we are enjoying a very sunny November day here in Maine. Bug Light Park is home to what you might think is the Bug Lighthouse, but actually it's called the Portland Breakwater Lighthouse, built in 1875 and modeled after a Greek monument. So it's a little bit ornate looking, but it's gotten the nickname Bug Light because it's quite small. It's very cute and it is the first little lighthouse of Maine that we've seen and I think it's just right for our start. We're gonna do one more, I think bigger one later on this afternoon, but we're gonna go check out this gorgeous lighthouse. Next and final stop is the Headlight Lighthouse, which is quite a bit larger and more famous. I think we've got a good bike ride over that way, so let's go. 
This was first lit in 1790. Nice. This one's really cool, y'all. It's red, white, and green, and it actually has a house attached to it, just like the name suggests. The other one was a wee bit smaller, but this one is beautiful. <laughs> it was. Let's go. into town, go to our place, get some rest, because we are tired. Mm -hmm. I will say though, this lighthouse was my favorite. I had a lot of fun here. It is beautiful. You can hang out, you can climb on the rocks, you know, totally. picnic, just definitely come here if you're in South Portland or Portland in general. Also, the bikes. We first tried electric bicycles when we were in Rottnest yeah. um, in Western Australia, mm -hmm. and I highly recommend it. They're so, it's so fun to rent them, honestly, because they're expensive, like we're never gonna own one, but <laughs> renting them every once in a while to zip around, like it just, you never break a sweat. It's so easy. Yeah. So anyway, we highly recommend, if you don't wanna ride bikes, you can drive out to the headlight, no problem. They have tons of parking and all that, and it's pretty accessible. I think most of it's even paid if you were, you know, in a wheelchair even. So yeah. very accessible, it was a great day. We have one more morning out here in Maine. We're gonna try and make the most of it before we head <laughs> home tomorrow. So we'll see you on the morning. from Portland, Maine. It's our last day on our little weekend getaway up in Maine and it's a beautiful morning, albeit quite cold. The weather dropped, the temperatures dropped quite a lot since yesterday, but we are enjoying a Sunday stroll. Let me tell you, a Sunday morning in downtown Portland, we are in the old port neighborhood right now. During a pandemic, is essentially a ghost town. So we've had the whole neighborhood to ourselves. And we're just kind of taking a stroll. Right now we're walking down what's called the Long Wharf, which is a beautiful place to sort of listen to seagulls, look at the boats and kind of be quiet. It's nice. It's about time to head back, pack up. We have one little sweet stop before we go, but we're about ready to call it. It's been a great weekend. Let's take a walk. Looks like everyone else had the same idea on a Sunday morning, but we're gonna stop into Holy Donuts for some really cool donuts. One more little sweet treat. Um, we'll do a lemon and... These are potato donuts, which I've never had before. It's apple season, or we're, we're very much at the end of apple season, but they still had a couple of the seasonal donuts available. So I'm about to try their glazed apple cider donut, which I can see has like apple skins in it. Like, it looks legit. We also have a sweet potato donut instead of regular potato. But let's get in it. It's not your regular yeasted donut. It's more close to an old fashioned donut. It's incredible. It's delicious. The flavor is bomb. It's true. I'm choking up. That's how excited I am. It's so good. Anyway, we're going to eat these and just call it a weekend. Mm. I hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all had fun. We did. <laughs> Bless you. You're welcome. <laughs> I just assumed you would bless me. We are dreamers of love. 